And finally we get to the last part we need for the potentiometer which is the solder tag. Here it is in my 2D drawing. And we're going to start with this part of it here which comprises a circle with a hole in it and a rectangle. So we're going to do that first. Whoops, well we've got that, as we say, we've got that selected, so we start with a circle 3.18. Oh, and that's a bit far away, so we can bring that closer. Another circle for the hole, one millimetre for that. Okay. Then the rectangle, find the centre, top. Shift key gives us a temporary reference. The width dimension is highlighted, so we tab to the height dimension, so that will be 0.75. Return. Click and drag. And the length is 5.28. Point five width. That's our basic shape. Now we select the trim tool, trim away the bits we don't want. And we can pull that to the thickness we need. Oops. Got it upside down. What's going on? And it's point four five. Point four five. H. We We're going to make the vertical part on this end here, so we'll Oops, uh, select that phase, vertical, a rectangle. This is, of course, also 0.45 thick, which nearly 0.435, but we'll make it the right thickness 0.45 tab and 1.5. We're going to pull that out. We see on the drawing it is 5.4 from this surface. So we drag it up. 5.4 turn. There we go. Next step is to make a nice bend on these corners so the bend internal bend is 0.55 and the external bend is exactly one Nice bend. Now we're going to pull part of these sides out to make the tab. So we select the side, three for vertical, and we need to draw a rectangle on here. Conveniently, where we put this bend, there is part where we can make our rectangle then so now we can pull this part out to the required distance which is 0 0.84 0 0.84 
and we can do the same thing on the other side so we need to select this face draw a rectangle on it pull it out 0.84 and we simply put a chamfer on this corner or 0 0.84 0 0.84 and the same on this corner 0.84 and we have some nice chamfers we want to radius this top edge and we see on the drawing that the radius is 2.61 so if we select the face make it vertical take the line and draw a line from there to Point six one, and then make a circle from there to there. Pull. As easy as that. The surface we can delete, the curves we can delete. Boom. So far, so good. Okay, we're now going to put this slot in. There are, of course, numerous ways of doing this, but. Uh, uh, this is one of them. That face, the. I'm going to put some geometry in that will help us. I see that the centre of the top arc of the slot is 1.22 down from here, so I'm going to draw a line which is 1.22. Right now we can escape, circle, centered on this line here, and the circle is 1.5, yes, 1.5, return. Now we're going to create another one of these by control dragging. So we select the thing, hold the control key, and if we drag the vertical, release and the dimension is 0 0.72 72 we get another circle in the right position we can now join the sides up with a line from there to there and so on and trim away the bits we don't need Oh, we don't need that line. Delete. Hang on. There you go. That's the tag engineered. All we need is to make it the right colour. Display colour. Oh, well. Did you spot my deliberate mistake? <laughs> we should select the solid, of course, first. Colour. There we go. Uh, surface. There's a surface there we don't need. So we can delete, delete that. 
And there's the final point made. The solder tag. Now stand by for the assembly of the whole potentiometer.